for a while now, dual cab ute prices have done one thing, and that's go up, and up, and up. In fact, if you want a dual cab 4x4 with a bit of space inside, good safety, the ability to tow, and a few bells and whistles, you're looking at a price that starts north of 50 grand. Or are you? Let me introduce you to this. It's the GWM Ute, where you can get all that and more for a price that starts with a three. But does that price come with a compromise? Here's the slightly confusing part. This ute is actually a ute. Its official model name is ute. So it's a GWM ute, a uh, ute. This particular one is called a GWM ute Canon L. So I'm just gonna call it the GWM ute to make things easy. The GWM ute is the reborn version of the Great Wall Steed. GWM stands for Great Wall Motors, a Chinese car maker that builds more than a million cars a year. It's been redesigned from the front to the back and offers an outrageous amount of ute for the money, as well as a seven year warranty. There are three utes in the range and they all use a two litre four cylinder turbocharged engine that sends 120 kilowatts and 400 newton meters to all four wheels. They've all got a properly good eight speed auto from ZF as well, which makes a lot of gearboxes for companies that include Ferrari. All three are proper 4x4s as well, with low range gearing and a locking rear diff. And safety, it's got all the safety. AEB, blind spot assist, rear cross traffic assist, seven airbags, including one between the two front seats, a 360 degree camera, and more besides. Want more? What about leather? Keyless entry, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Done, done, and done. And the price, a scarcely believable $37,990 drive away. See, told you, loaded. The Ute is a big Ute. It's 85 millimeters longer than the Hilux and it's got a longer wheelbase than the Ranger. The bonnet is high and the grille is enormous and some might say a little bit over-chromed. Here you've got LED front lights and the camera for all the safety gear hides right in the middle. Around the back, there's a tailgate with struts as well as this neat step to climb into the tray more easily. It can tow 3000 kilos and it's even got a spray on bed liner to protect the tub from scratches. It really misses out on nothing. It's a similar story inside the cabin. There's no compromise on design here at all. I mean, check out the shifter for example and the finish all the way through the center console, much nicer than plain old black plastic. This big screen is easy to use and it's got very little lag as well. There are a few unusual phrases scattered throughout, but that's just a software upgrade away from being fixed. These seats too are more than comfortable enough for the average sized Aussie bloke, and that's a really important consideration. Backseat passengers report that the GWM is more comfortable than other utes, but the seat back is quite vertical. There's plenty of room though, even for my 187 centimeters. The mid-spec Canon L adds stuff like a 220 volt socket, a USB port and air vents, and there's plenty of storage. You can also fit two baby seats in here with Isofix mountings. The Ute's two litre diesel engine is all new. And if you've ever driven any of the old Great Wall stuff, you'll be very pleased to learn that it's nothing like that. It's not the strongest engine in the dual cab pack, but it's certainly not the weakest either. It's tractable, smooth and quiet, and it does its job well. It's matched to an eight-speed automatic gearbox that matches the engine well, though it does like to change gears a lot. But you can actually take over the process by using the paddles behind the steering wheel. Fuel economy? Well, GWM claims that the ute can get less than 10 litres per 100 kilometres. Ride and handling is pretty typical for a dual cab ute means it's a bit busy and bumpy around town if there's not a load in the tray or a trailer on the back. Speaking of towing, GWM has recently re-rated the ute and it can now tow 3,000 kilograms. That's probably at the bottom of the pile when it comes to rival dual cabs. And just like the suspension, the steering is very dual cab as well, which means it's a little bit vague in the center, 
and it takes a lot of wheel work to actually get anything happening. But on the upside, the GWA Mute is one of the very few dual cabs on the market equipped with four-wheel disc brakes. GWM has rammed the ute full of safety kit, and I mean rammed. It's got AEB with cyclist and pedestrian detection. It's got rear cross-traffic alert. It's got adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, a 360-degree camera, sign recognition, and more. It's also got seven airbags, including one between the driver and the passenger. A ute needs to have off-road shops as well, so GWM has added a 4x4 system from Borg Warner to the ute, as well as a lockable rear diff. This helps the rear wheels find traction in loose conditions. So, what's the catch? Well, at first blush, I can't see one. I, I really can't. On-road manners? Fine. The exterior design? Well, it looks okay to me. The grille is pretty big. Value? No question. The GWM ute is outstanding value no matter which way you look at it. One of the reasons it doesn't cost as much as a Hilux or a Ranger is in part because those two have been engineered to do the hard yards on mining sites and the like. But for me, out here, it's not really a factor. The GWM ute has to drive well, be safe and offer good value. And it does all three. You know, your folks were right when they told you that if something's too good to be true, it usually is. But in this case, the GWM Ute doesn't expect you to compromise, even though you're going to pay a lot less for it. We need a bit more time in the car to get a definitive read, but at first blush, the GWM Ute is an absolute steal.